Hey everybody, Steve here, RJT Custom Sabres. Got a couple sabers to show up to you guys tonight that I just uh, finished up for a, a client. A couple unique ones, actually. It's pretty cool. One that I'm super excited about that uh, I know you guys are going to be as well. But we'll start off with the uh, with the first one here. is uh, from the Rebel series, the uh, Biff Saber. Um, cool little hilt, really nice. Just kind of one-piece design. Comes apart at the emitter. Um, obviously, don't take it apart there now. And then the pommel, it's got your recharge port on the side, 18650 battery inside, nano Scotty V4, and a blue, blue, a, sorry, a blue, royal blue, white uh, tri cre LED for the main blade as well. Um, yeah, it's a really simple little saber. We did some custom boot sounds for him on this one, which you guys will be hearing when it pulls open. Um, first, I'll show you guys the pommel um, and access. You do have access to the SD card from inside of here. So you just gotta unscrew the pommel, slide the speaker out, and you can access the SD card in there. This just comes off real easy. Drop it on the floor. So then you've got your speaker right in there. It's a little hit, it'll slide out. So just like so. And then I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of dark. So yeah, right in there, if I can get some light, I can't, no. But right in here is where you have access to your SD card, so you use your trusty little eraser, just a little click-click, grab your little pliers, you can pull it out, make any changes you need to make, slide it back in there. Again, being careful with your pliers, and then just a little push, click-click, and it's, it's good. So that's where that sits, and the wires just all tuck in there nice and neat. Speaker sits down in there and then your pommel screws back on, once I find it. All right, so yeah, your speaker goes back inside. It's got the little ring on top um, to hold it against the pommel. So I 3D printed kind of like a little speaker holder for it. I think you guys probably already saw that. And then the speaker does come apart. There is a little connector there as well that you can unscrew. You can kind of unclip it if you needed to, but uh, shouldn't need to. Just all fits in there nice and neat. And the wires all tuck in nicely underneath, like so. And then your pommel can screw on top. Not interfere with your speaker or your wires or that fun stuff. Don't screw it in like don't crank on it um it is just plastic and you got the recharge port right there so just until it's snug is as far as you need to go holds everything in nice and steady no rattling no shaking nothing like that got your kill key on the side here for your recharge port 2.1 millimeter recharge port on this one so I'm just gonna work with all your standard chargers there just pull that you'll hear one of the uh, custom boot sounds i did for them you got biff's voice there um, we got a couple others. So press and hold to change sound fonts. Another bit of Biff talking. And one more. And the last one there. And that's, of course, with the uh, Youngling sound font. Blade plug in the end for you. This is a nice blue, like I said, blue, blue, white uh, color for the uh, for the LED. Makes it really nice. Nice blue, blue blade on that one. So that's that one, fairly basic, straightforward. Nice hilt though, really like it, nice and slim. Um, it's really good, yeah, nice design. Now, the one I'm really, really excited about, of course, that I got to do an upgrade on on this one sent back just for like a battery replacement kind of check on it and then decided to uh fully upgrade her so we went we went all out and uh what i've got is genesis custom sabers bane i think from one of his original runs um really nice saber love this hilt um the bone the faux bone there looks really really good really cool so what we did on this one is we upgraded it from the Crystal Focus version 5 that used to be in here all the way up to the new CFX. 
uh, inside this one now. Again, still all the same stuff on the outside, your kill key in the same place. Again, same thing for opening. You're only going to go open to get an access to kind of view the crystal chamber. You still have access to the SD card. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Anything else? But yes, yeah, so we did that. And we upgraded the crystal in the crystal chamber as well. We to an authentic uh, amethyst crystal in there. So we got a real crystal uh, in the place of the old plastic one that was in there originally. Again, I'll show you guys that here in a second. But let's pull the kill key. Boots up. Again, you still got that red pulsing in there in the crystal chamber. Your bar graph and your LEDs. And then now, of course, we've got some loose swings. So again, so you've got activation, auxiliary for your two buttons. But now we have a swing. While you're both up. Pretty darn cool there. Let's uh, pop this open and I'll give you guys a look at that new crystal chamber and uh, and whatnot that we put in there for them. So again, same thing. You're just going to undo the screw on the back. This is just before everyone else to do it, but you guys know. To access that, and then the one more is just you have to undo this flathead screw here on the front to gain access. Do this over a desk or a flat surface or something you do not want to lose this screw it is kind of like that special little rounded over guy there so your hand doesn't feel it when it's on the hilt really nice design way to go i mean rob stuff is amazing and again so slide that back like Robbie said grab it at the base and you can pull this back to get access into the crystal chamber i'm not sure if you guys can see in there but yeah so we've got that now real crystal in there. And it mimics your blade. And your blade colors. So you've got all the 16 different color profiles in here as well. All that stuff. And then right down just in front is where the SD card sits. You can kind of sort of see that with the light on there. It's just right in the front there. Access it with your little eraser. Grab it with your tweezers to pull it out to make any changes you want to make. And of course, you still got all your different bar graph animations uh, on the accent of these in the uh, crystal chamber there as well. So super cool. Really loved working on this one and doing the upgrades to it and getting it into Pixel and everything else. Um, yeah, tons of fun. Really love this hilt. Super excited. He's got that new run going on, so check that out. NeoPixel. Super bright. Alrighty, guys, so those are those two that we just finished up there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys again.